because of the history books being written by the white man, of course, that's who's going to be highlighted, your white cowboys. Had we had a part in writing our history books, we would be there. This is the Bill Pickett Rodeo, and I'm a cowgirl. And I'm a cowgirl. And I'm a cowgirl. And I'm a black cowgirl. My name is Tiffany Carter. My title here at the rodeo would be Grand Entry Coordinator, um, go do everything, kind of a runaround girl. I am also a rider. I do stare and decorate as well as run barrels every so often, yes. Rodeo is, is basically a way of life for us. My name is Carolyn Carter. I am the general manager for the Bill Pickett Invitational Rodeo. The Bill Pickett Rodeo is the only all black traveling rodeo. Lou Vuitton, our founder, went to Cheyenne Frontier Days. Didn't see any black contestants, but he knew there were black cowboys. So he decided then he was going to put together a black rodeo so that he could showcase the black cowboys. That's, pretty, that's a pretty nice horse. My name is Dana Carter. I am the baby of the Carter family. I love being a cowgirl. I won the Ladies Steer and Decorating Championship last year. The key to it is just to kind of stay in the money. As long as I place. As long as I place and my money is adding up, then I'm OK. But as long as I'm not placing, that becomes a problem. I see y'all at the rodeo. A rodeo is pretty much like a track meet. <laughs> There's all kind of events, kids and old people can enjoy. There's barrows, there's bull riding. It's, it's awesome. The rodeo is definitely a sport. You have to be athletic. You have to be skilled. Your mind has to be in the right place. If some of them are there just because they want to show that they can do it. Some of them are diehard competitors where nothing else matters. And some just want to hear the name called the loudspeaker. It could be a lot of pressure. You just kind of keep a clear head. Just know that you're doing this for your people. You're representing your people. You just stay focused. You ready? Cowgirl? You want mama to win some money? I gotta do my stretch, I'm sorry. I love it. We get the cash on hand after the rodeo. Everybody in here, this ain't their first rodeo. So they say money is the motivation at the end of the day behind all of this. Yeah, it's fun, but it costs at the same time. Decorating is when the rider here nods, they let the steer out. The hays are supposed to keep the steer close so that the rider can run by and snatch the tape off. Tape off, hand in the air, signals for time. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. Because you got five minds you're dealing with. The steer, the two horses, and the two people. Fastest time win. I've always wanted to take rodeo to the next level. And the next level with this rodeo is the National Finals Rodeo. There is not one African-American female in the National Finals Rodeo.
I won the ladies' steer and decorating with the time of a 2.3. It's time to go home. As far as the history books were concerned, nobody really knew about the black cowboys. It was our due diligence to put us out there so that people actually knew that, you know, hey, we're here, we're alive, and we're still competing. We got some little girls coming up. I wouldn't be surprised if they do make it to the next level. As long as you have your own behind you and the support system behind you, family, friends, I mean, the sky's the limit. Thanks for watching Anomaly. Follow the show page so you don't miss next week's episode.